I'm Andy and welcome to my channel about crypto. In today's video, I want to show you how to mint NFTs on Solana and how to sell them on Magic Eden, so Solana Marketplace or Solana NFT Marketplace. As always, if you like those videos, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. If you do have any questions, please put them in the comment section below. So first of all, if you want to mint anything on Solana, you will need a wallet that works on Solana Network. I use Phantom Wallet and I think it's the most popular or one of the most popular wallets on Solana. So essentially this is like a MetaMask equivalent on Solana rather than Ethereum network. There are some other wallets. I just happen to use this one. So that's the one I, I'll be showing and recommending. It works very similar to MetaMask. So it's just a browser extension. You need to install it, write down your recovery phrase, create a strong password and so on. If you have MetaMask, you are familiar with the process. If not, you can check out my video at the end of this, this video. Then you need some uh, Solana tokens in your wallet, at least as many as you need to mint the project, and then a little bit more to cover gas. Gas is much cheaper on Solana network comparing to Ethereum, so you only need like a fraction of one soul to, to cover the cost of gas. But it probably makes sense to have like half soul or whatever, just to, just to be on the safe side or to be able to cover multiple transactions. What I saw recently is that a lot of people were saying that some centralized exchanges, for example, Binance, were not allowing them to withdraw any Solana tokens for quite a while, like a few days from, from the moment they, they bought their tokens. I bought my Solana on Coinbase Pro and I was able to withdraw it literally immediately. It just took a few minutes, but I don't know. It may vary depending on what kind of account you have with an exchange. Maybe we depends on the country of uh, residence. I'm not entirely sure, but it's just something worth bearing in mind that if you're planning to mint something on Solana or for that matter, any other blockchain, make sure that you have funds ready in your wallet ahead of time, rather than try to buy and transfer them last minute or within the last 24 hours, because you may find that actually there are some limits and you won't be able to do it on time. So assuming that you already have your Phantom wallet installed, then you need to mint uh, the NFT. And you can either do it on the project's website, if that's the functional, functionality they implemented, or you can do it on Magic Eden, so Solana NFT Marketplace. And if the project is launching on Magic Eden, then you just go to Launchpad and you look for the project. As always, the safest way to do it is just follow the links in the project's official Discord. Don't click on some random links, because especially as the Solana blockchain will be will become more and more popular. It's likely there will be a lot of scams, a lot of fake links. So always make sure that you're actually minting the genuine collection. So in this case, I have this Ape project, just Ape, and I'm, I'm on a whitelist and I want to meet, mint my one token. So I have to connect with my Phantom wallet. And the process is very similar to doing this on Ethereum blockchain. I just connect with my wallet, picks up the wallet straight away, connect. Okay, and now I want to mint my NFT. So I can mint one, click mint. As you would expect, I have to approve the transaction. As you can see, the network fee is very, very small. So it's five Solana for minting the NFT and the remaining amount is, is gas, which is really, really cheap comparing to Ethereum. I hit approve, and then I hope that transaction will go through. You cannot speed up transactions on Solana network, so if transaction fails, well, you just have to resubmit it. So this is something different to, to Ethereum, where if you're familiar with it, you'd know that, well, if you want your transaction to be processed faster, you would just simply and put in higher gas, either manually or just by selecting a preset, and that would make sure that your transaction will be pushed through and, and submitted ahead of other transactions. In case of Solana, you cannot do it. You just simply submit your transaction and wait for it to, to be executed. Okay, so it actually took five attempts to meet this NFT. Of course, I cut out this bit of video because I didn't really want you to stare at the screen when nothing is happening for like 20 minutes. So although the transactions on Solana network are much cheaper than Ethereum network, 
Well, the downside is that if they're not going through, they will just keep failing and you have to keep resubmitting them and you cannot really speed them up in any way. But finally, my transaction went through. So now I can go to my wallet on Magic Eden and I can see my, my NFT. Or I cannot see it at the moment because apparently it's still loading, but at least I know it's in my wallet. So essentially that's how you mint an NFT on, on Magic Eden, on Solana. So just to recap it, you need a link ideally from, um, from the Discord. You have to make sure that it's definitely the correct link. Otherwise you can look for the project in the launch pad, but basically you, you need your Phantom Wallet, transfer some Solana into your Phantom Wallet, connect Phantom Wallet to Magic Eden, and then just find the correct project, mint it. Hopefully you won't have to wait as long as I had to wait in the case of this project, but yeah, sometimes it happens. And then as soon as your transaction goes through, you have your NFT in your wallet. So now actually my ape revealed, it looks pretty basic to be perfectly honest, but I can now list it for sale just like on OpenSea. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So hopefully this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section. I'll try to answer them or I will make another video if that's going to be easier. Uh, as always, if you like those videos, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.